Hello guys, welcome back to another video by Future Tech Ideas and for Future Tech Ideas. Once again, I am Jason Goyette, the owner of Future Tech Ideas and Future Tech Media. And today we're going to talk about the new Acer Aspire S3 that was recently unveiled yesterday at the Computex event in Taipei. Um, now everyone's saying that this new S3 is very similar to the S7 that was released yet, uh, last year in appearance. Um, but this, uh, the reason why they're saying that is the new S3 is going to pack a 13.3 inch uh, screen as well as a 1080p resolution. Of course, 1080p is a norm now. Um, I can remember when uh, 1080p was just brand new, uh, as well as 720p. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the hardware because we're going to announce the new CPU. Well, you can bet your iMac that this new laptop is going to have some awesome hardware. So let me go ahead and channel Future Tech Ideas to get you the information. Holy cow. All right, guys, I got it for you. This S3 392 Ultrabook is going to carry the NVIDIA GeForce GT735 graphics card. Also, the hard drive is going to be a Whopper 1 terabyte non-SSD. Also to mention, this sucker is going to pack the fourth generation Intel i-series as well processor. Cannot wait to see the benchmarks on that. Ever since CES 2013, uh, they debuted the uh, Haswell processor, and I could not wait to hear more about it. Now I get my chance. Another similar feature between the S3 and the S7 is that the S3 is going to be able to bend 180 degrees backwards like the S7 from last year. Also, the S7 had the Gorilla Glass backing. The S3 is actually going to have aluminum backing. Also to note that some of the models on the S3 may not have the new Haswell processor. So I do hope that you're the lucky few that does get the new Haswell processor. If you do, make sure to message me and let me know how it is. Also to note that the battery life on the S3 may be improved if you do get the new Haswell processor by possibly 33%. So uh, is it going to break the bank? Well, I can tell you this. It's going to cost you your most prettiest and shiniest penny to purchase it. Well, guys, thank you for watching another video from me, Jason Goya, the owner of Future Tech Ideas and Future Tech Media. So if you have not done so yet, click the subscribe button up there somewhere. Click the like button down there. Also, make sure to comment and share. We love it when you share our videos because we get to reach a broader audience. Um, also, we'd like to hear what you have to say about this new laptop as well. So make sure to go down in the comments and let me know what you think about the Haswell processor. And if you're going to be the one who's breaking the bank and spending his shiny penny. So thank you guys for watching and have a good day, good night, or a good morning. Peace out.